you've met Carl. Carl Sweden Land Surveying. He's someone that I've used several times for various property development schemes and plans, not all of which came to fruition, but all of which were well started. So in any case, it came to my attention as I visited with Scott Harvey and Travis Robinson that I'd be making a mistake if I just sort of gave it my best guess on the height of the retaining walls and, and the initial mobilization of rock and excavation. I need a topographical survey. It may be obscure, topo, what does that mean? Travis, what does a topo mean? How is it done? What good does it do me? So what you had was a survey, which is just a plan view with bearings and distances showing just a flat piece of property. But as you can see, this lot goes up 150 feet, whatever. You've got some grades over here, some drops, flat spot. So what a topo survey is, it, is it has spot elevations, and then from those spot elevations, we can draw contours, and we can kind of get a three-dimensional three representation of what the land looks like. Okay, and what does that do for me? So then when you start planning out what your, where your retaining walls are gonna be, if you have to cut, so you, you talked about having to remove some material, replace it with some select fill, or recompact the same material in site. You, we have some slopes here that we may need to fill. Without that topo survey, you won't, need, you won't know how much uh, dirt you need to, to order or how much rock you need to order. If you're excavating, you need to figure out what those quantities are going to be. That topo survey is going to allow you to have a basis for all of those calculations. See, this is an excellent example of very nearly overestimating my ability in a way that would have cost me money. Yeah, I thought I can figure this out. But as soon as he mentioned it and made about half of that explanation to me, I flashed on, you know what, I am about to hurt myself here in a way that I can recover from, but in a way that is unnecessary because I have the world's best civil engineer right here. take a look at all the points not that it's gonna make much sense but so those are the points that the instrument has recorded as being your traveling on the side huh yeah cool so Carl and his little robotic sheepdog have done it I don't have any idea how this works I don't have to know he knows <laughs> so back to the office now input this into your computer spit out a plan yeah what I'll do is lay out the lot um, according to the record, and then I'll input this and snap it to the lot so that it fits just right, mm -hmm. and then I can do contours, mm -hmm. show the utilities that we picked up in reference to your property lines, and then it's ready. And then show a, a less detailed but representative shot of what the neighbors got over there in terms of humps and slopes and material in his way so right. he can sort of understand that. Yeah. All right, so it won't take him long. He'll be able to, I mean, the, the magic of microprocessing. This will be ready in a relatively short period of time. I'll get it to Travis, he'll get it back, all of it transferred digitally back and forth rather than by Pony Express or Carrier Pigeon and this is way better I have to say. <laughs> so anyhow Carl, thanks yeah. for working me in. I'm looking forward to seeing it. Oh, great, thank you.